Well, good morning. Beautiful, just relaxing dawn morning. It's about 45 minutes or so before sunrise. And I wasn't expecting there to be a great shake sunrise and I'm still kind of thinking that's gonna be the case. Which is why I thought today or this morning I would spend a little bit of time doing what is quite typical for I would say 70% of the time that us photographers are out and about and that's just out for a dander, out for a recce. And I thought what I would do is when I kind of into the second week of April and so we're starting to perhaps see a little bit of wild garlic perhaps, perhaps, a bit too early perhaps, but perhaps maybe some blue bells. And just the sort of spring starting to wake up from its winter slumber. And so it's a perfect opportunity just to dander around and see whether there is a, a potential shot or two. And heck, if not, being in woodland on a calm, still, spring morning with the dawn course echoing in your ears is not a bad way to spend the the morning so really not sure how this vlog will go uh, my intentions is to probably visit two or three different little woodlands and just see how things are developing you'll have seen some of these woodlands before in my little hunt for red october but and again one of the things i love about a morning like this is I don't believe now there was some fog forecast it might still develop but I think it's going to be more inland given the fact that there's no real kind of pressure and expectations and I spoke about no expectations before it's just a lovely little woodland wonder I have got my Wonder 400 in the bag as well so I think it's going to be more of a recon kind of day and I think this is very typical of what us photographers spend doing but I love the great outdoors, we love the great outdoors so certainly no wasted time in the field so let's go for a bit of a dander and seize what we can seize so I've set a little shot up here uh, just behind me in the portrait orientation I'm down amongst where a lot of the wild garlic grows. I reckon we're... Better than a car alarm, I guess. Yeah, so probably a good week, perhaps, from the development, but that's exactly what the recon mission is all about. And the portrait orientation that I've got here is just using framing of a couple of trees on the either side, and then your eye hopefully sort of leads through the gap few more trees now top right hand corner there's a, there's a lighter patch I'm obviously not including any of the sky but there's a lighter patch of, of trees and when I was first looking at it um, I was maybe trying to completely remove it by pointing the camera down and zooming in a little bit more but actually now that I've taken a little tester shot and I look at the organization of trees I think I can perhaps make something um, with a slight tweak to maybe make that lighter patch perhaps a little bit of, of interest with just those those uh, the combination of trees but I certainly think there's potential here. Obviously we've got no no light and of course would always love a little bit of mist just to diffuse some of the, the background there but yes so I shall work away here again at this image and I'll throw something up and then we'll wander on.
So as you can see, the sun has now broken the visible horizon and is casting some lovely light into the woodland. And again, this is another sort of exercise in patience. You know, it could be very tempting for me to sort of grab and run and shoot, but this really is a, a recon mission. So again, I'm just gonna, even though the light is beautiful, I'm not gonna panic and rush. This is gonna be something that I need to come back to over the next couple of weeks. And hopefully we do get the conditions, but just some beautiful, sort of soft early morning light being cast in there is lovely. And as always, accompanied by the dawn course. So let's wander on and see whether we can come up with something. So set up a little scene behind me here. And what initially drew my eye to the scene was there's a little fern on the right hand side that's kind of bent over and maybe sort of leading your eye into the scene. I'm shooting in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is allowing me to remove the sky. And then again on the bottom of the frame on the left hand side, there's just a little flash of rustic dried fern from last autumn. And the shape of the trees, just lovely twists. Now, the composition that I've got set up at the moment, I think I need to sort of fine tune it, but just trying to sort of think about separation, think about perhaps some repeating patterns between the trees. And of course, again, given this is a, the light's beautiful, but given this is a recce mission, I'm trying to envisage what, what the understory is going to sort of look like once we start to get the, the, the wild garlic develop so now what makes this scene or what makes this location a little bit more challenging is it's very steep banked now that does give you the added advantage of you being able to shoot into the bank and avoid the sky but quite often you're kind of looking up into it now what I can do is there's a path that leads up above here and that may allow me to sort of shoot down again Again, removing some of that sky. Been playing about a little bit as well with the, the old wide angle on the um, on the phone because I think there's a shot to be had, sort of just off the off the garlic, and maybe even shooting with the 10 to 24 really close up and really emphasising. Goodness me, they're making some racket, emphasising that the garlic. But oh, and I wish this had smell a vision because. The garlic is just intoxicating. It's beautiful. Something tells me I'm going to be having garlic bread tonight. Right. I shall go ahead, maybe fine tune this composition just a little bit more, and I'll throw something up on screen. Beautiful. Though. So it's been a good. 45 minutes to an hour since that last image. Just been really wandering around the woods. The sun's obviously now reasonably high. It's still, still reasonably soft, but it is casting sort of light and shadow, which I'm not sure is working as well. However, behind me here, I've set up another little shot. Uh, again, portrait orientation, and again, thinking a week, two weeks from now, Maybe when that garlic has bloomed, there's that path of white leading through the trees. And again, I think the, the shapes of these trees really do lend themselves to that portrait orientation. Now, I've got two options again for this particular scene. I think the one that works best from a composition point of view includes the sky, but I'm not sure including the sky really works from an overall aesthetics point of view, but I think if I exclude the sky, either by zooming in more or by pointing my camera down in this particular scene, I'm just not sure the composition works as well. So I think I'm gonna shoot it with the sky in the frame. Again, thinking maybe, maybe we get a little bit of mist at some point to maybe diffuse the, the background. 
what was interesting was I actually climbed up out of the woods and had a little bit of a break and looking out towards the east and there looks to be quite a bit of early morning mist rolling around there so it's always the way but yeah again just watching out for any overlap trying to see whether there's any repeating patterns and paying attention to the very far of the, of, of the frame even though I may be thinking that at some point if we do get a little bit of mist in here the sort of far view in the frame is going to be almost blanketed out but if there is going to be any shapes showing through I really want to make sure I'm paying attention to those as well so beautiful right so I shall throw this image up now not too sure whether there's going to be any more images I know I said at the start of the vlog that this was going to be a recce day and it is going to be a recce or at least a recce morning but I'm not sure whether I'll take you on the recce um, that might just be for for me so irrespective of whether there's another image from this woodland I'll obviously come back to you to close things off in a little while but for now I'll throw up this particular frame and then we'll wander on So when I first came into the woodland this morning, the little scene behind me caught my eye. Now there really was no light then, but it was the understory that was really catching my eye. You know, the daffodils, just beautiful. Little sort of pockets of white, pockets of yellow, obviously the, the greens of early spring. And so I thought I'd just, as I made my way back, back out again, stop and just make an image no great shakes just in a horizontal composition I think there's probably a little portrait orientation as well just with the with this tree it's got a it's got a very slight kink in it which I think bodes quite well but just a little nod to nod to spring and certainly coming back here in the next week or so a couple of times to see whether or not we can make something off the um, off the wild garlic right well as I said earlier I'm gonna carry on wrecking but I think we'll call it quits for this particular vlog as always thanks a lot for following along and until next time take care bye bye